Okay, so I'm on my way to uh, Cockery 6B uh, for a mission which is a um, liberate bootleg uh, liquor mission. So I already um, arrived in the Cockery system and uh, I scanned the nav beacon to find out where in the system the, the target was and it told me it's on Cockery 6B. So this is the little message that I got. See. Um, so basically, somewhere on this planet there's some bootleg liquor and I'm going to have to scoop it up and take it back to the guys that asked me to do that who were at uh, Greenland's Folly in the Procyon system. Now, I know I, I didn't really want to pick up any other missions in the Procyon system because I think that system is cursed, but we'll see what happens. Oh, by the way, a full outbreak has, has uh, taken place in the Procyon system now, so, despite all my delivering medicines. The world come down with Covid. Right. Just throttle right back here so we don't overshoot. And then pop back up again a little bit. I'll try and get a scan of the uh, planet before we land. Hopefully things go smoothly. Just thought you might appreciate seeing different types of missions. Okay, so that's Cookery 6, the planet, which is a gas giant with a little ring there. I'm not going to uh, map the gas giant right now. We'll see how things pan out later. Um, but I'll probably I'll, I want to map Cockery 6B because I'm going to be landing on it. So that, there's the moon Cockery 6A. You can see those on the left, the little one. Um, Okay, let's do a little scan. Maybe I should have slowed down a little bit more. <laughs> I'm trying to save time here. Surface scanned by 50%. It only takes two probes, we should be fine. We're not going to crash into the planet. We're not, we're not, we're not. Yeah, I trust that one's gonna be that one's gonna be good. Supply right, search zone supply cache. It's on the other side. There we go. Surface, Surface scan complete. complete. Right. Yes. Orbital flight engaged. Should maybe have uh, orbited around a little more before I hit the orbital cruise. It slows you down, you see. Never mind. Uh, uh -huh. So it's that supply cache. If we if we get out clean, we might be able to visit some of the geological sites as well while we're here. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, second, uh, I want to set the. There we go. Lock destination. That's better. Right, okay. Get to just below 300 kilometers, flip round. And put the night vision on, because we're obviously on the night side of this moon. 
the uh, landscape's looking kind of uh, rugged, which isn't good news. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing uh, very deep canyons. Oh, and it's moving on me. But that's that's uh, to be expected with this type of mission. It's it's it'll move again before we're done. It's highly frustrating that it does this. Means you can never get a perfect approach, but when when there's actually not any uh, atmosphere, I'm never quite sure why it is that when you go into glide mode that you sort of get buffeted about the way that you do, but you do. And none of the landable worlds at the moment have any kind of atmosphere, that's the whole point. I thought they did because of all this, but apparently they don't. Oh man. <sighs> I have to get a lot closer to that before it tells me it's not there and it, it moves on me again. This may take some time. Move again. That's fine. Don't really move that much. 
it's still hacking in the right direction. And now that the reticule's uh, cleared up, theoretically it may not move again. But again, I trust nothing. Flying low altitude. There you go, see? See? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm explosion for that. I'm going to consider changing the controls uh, so that um, I get a little bit of yaw with my roll when I'm um, on, a, on a planet because that would be handy. Don't worry about the fact that it's just changed again. That's because it's it's in a depression and I can't see it. Oh wait, no, it's moving again. Yeah, you yeah, bastard. Come on. Ah. Where the heck's it gone? Ah, that's it. That's actually it. I can see it with my eyes. Visual confirmation. And that is the area we're after. Woo! Haha, <laughs> I forgot I was going so fast. Okay. I've throttled right back, but it's going to take a while for, for me to kill the speed. I'll pop the landing gear out as well. Right, now. I can't see any hostile ships around. I'm a bit close here with the ship. It's risky. It's risky, but we shall see. As long as I don't do anything, uh, as long as I don't do anything overtly hostile, it's unlikely to provoke any kind of a response. We can have a jolly good look round and see what's what. I have on occasion managed to just nip in and grab canisters that have been completely um, ah there you go see there's something popping up far away on the radar just before I land check the can right so the system authority vessel that's now in range and it's probably having a fight with that viper we need to be careful. If we can do this right, then oh, what's that? that where's that going? Scan detected. Oh, I'm being scanned. Well, I haven't done anything yet, so everything should be fine. But we'll see what goes on here. I don't want to quite finish. Want to quite finish landing yet? Who is that? What are they doing? Still got my night vision on, so they look a bit weird there. What's the Viper? Two can play at that game. Hmm. It's not giving me much information about them, which is unusual. Anyway, let's just. Uh, whoops. What's going on here? What do you mean unsuitable terrain? We were fine before. It was all blue before. Let's try and find somewhere else to to land. There we go. There we go. I want to be careful here. Because there is a system authority vessel around. Unfortunately, I think I need three canisters and my SRV can only carry two at once, so... Let's see what we do. Oh, that's good. That means they're leaving. <laughs> yep, that's the bootleg liquor, that's what we're after. Okay, so
So this time we need to scoop it up. Now you may remember from an earlier video where I showed you scooping up materials, basically gathering minerals on the on a planet surface, um, that the uh, SRV has a cargo scoop at the front. So basically, when we get close, we'll deploy that and uh, use that to scoop up one of the canisters. We should be able to scoop up two and then drive it back to the. I think that's what we need. I think we need two. Well, not two, I mean three. Right, let's see what there is over here. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was. That's why I was surprised at how far away it was, because I thought it was a little thing, but actually it was a bigger thing that was further away. <laughs> right, um... Okay... This may well be trickier than I thought it would be, then. There could be significant defences here turrets and skimmers and even vessels that will take off I'm going to be very careful I've never seen canisters in a, a big place like this before this could be tricky I'm not very good at driving the SRV for one thing, certainly not driving it at speed, so if things all kick off, it can get a bit messy. Right, aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, you see the red line there? So once you go into that red area, you're, you're trespassing, and you end up with a bounty if you don't leave immediately. So let's just take another look without going over the red line. Get as close as we can up here. Okay. I'm going to hop up in the turret so I can have a better look around. Alright, I wish you could zoom in. Right, so the canisters are over there. Which is definitely inside the trespass zone. I can't see any turrets. Not being very stealthy here because I've left my uh, headlights on, but I need to see what I'm doing though. Um, so obviously I'm going to have to drive in, and I will end up with a bounty because that's so far in. Then again, maybe I can go around the other side. Maybe it's closer to the other side. Let's see. Let's just see. Uh oh, I've got I've got stuck. stuck on that thing just skirt round the edge here <laughs> Ooh, my wheels are almost over the edge yeah. I'll do a full full perimeter sweep here and see what's what Oops. Ah. Let's back up a bit. Oops. There we go. And forward. Drive assist is weird. With drive assist, you it's not like you use the keys to to uh, go forwards and backwards. Um, you basically set it at a particular thrust level as it were um, and it stays at that level so it's not like I'm used to driving where you have to hold down the keys for for driving uh. now then do we think it's any closer to this side I still haven't seen any turrets or skimmers but I'm a bit concerned about the uh, authority ships in the system Wow. 
I think it's slightly closer to this side, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to go in. Here we go. Oh no, there they are! <laughs> they were lurking on the floor! Okay, I'm going to have to take those skimmers down. I didn't get one though, did I? I didn't manage to scoop one of the... the uh, didn't manage to scoop one of the... the oh, there's four of them. As soon as I take one of those canisters, they're going to be after me. And I think I need, I need multiple canisters. Let me just check the mission. Three. Yeah, I need three. I can't take three in one go. I'm going to have to destroy these. Okay, wish me luck. Left, there's one left. What? Oh, that's stinger missiles. Target destroyed. Right. I oh, know it wasn't wasn't a missile. It was destruction of a criminal stinger. Well, they all have bounties on them, which is is good to know. Right. Uh. Okay. Now let's let's grab those those canisters. Yep, let's grab them and leave. Oh, no, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, I managed to uh, get out without without getting the bounty, so... Oops, a dirty. <laughs> So that's one we've scooped. Let's get another one. Nope. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, let's get these back to the mothership. Back to Maccabee. It actually parked pretty much perfect distance away. It's not, it's not too close, not too far away. I thought I was closer, but like I say, that was a matter of misjudging the scale of the facility when I saw it from the air. Well, it's definitely past my bedtime.
Let's get this cargo on board. Probably have to go back and get the rest of the cargo. I don't think you can stop in the middle of a mission like this, really. I've no idea. But I'd rather not chance it. So we've done good so far. There we go, transfer cargo and oops. There we go like that. Transfer. Don't forget to hit the transfer, otherwise it doesn't affect the transfer. Um right, okay. Let's go back and get the last Target it ready. Just be able to scoop up the last one, drive out with it before I pick up any kind of a trespass bounty, and we'll then liberate it from the planet's surface. Alright! Nice. What's over there? Ooh. Jeez. I must have knocked something free when I was doing something before. I don't know what that's doing over there. But. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think you've got to shoot it. Oh, it's a mineral! It would seem to be it's some kind of mineral. I've not seen that before. What am I doing? Hold on a thing. Yeah! Alright! Yeah. Some kind of mineral. It's kind of cool. Where are the chunks? He was sitting on top of the, the rover. <laughs> right, uh, let's go to contact. Oh, I see. So, mesosiderite is just a thing like um, the 
other ge geological formations that you get materials out of and then the materials inside of it are the normal elemental ones. Right, I see. Cool. I'll just uh, scoop some of these up then. Get that one first, it's easier. Okay. There we go. Get some chromium. Get some carbon. Right, so you get three chunks out of a one of a one of those meso sederite things is. Uh, it's funny, isn't it? Right, okay. Off we go. Oh, there's another one. Wonder why I didn't spot them before. There you go. There you go. Oh, that one's four chunks come out of that one. There's such low gravity, it's taking forever for them to land. Here. Germanium, sulfur, iron, and see what the last one is. Sulfur as well. Okay. Let's go. So it counts as illicit cargo uh, because I just nabbed it off of this planet and it. I'm not supposed to have it really. They talk about liberating the bootleg alcohol, uh, but at the end of the day, it's still bootleg. <laughs> so, who knows? I'm just trying to get in the good books for Serious Corporation. Turret stows when we get close to the, the ship. Got a bit of a paint job on it. Then my free holiday arcs. Right. I don't think you have to retract the cargo scoop. And board ship. It'll take the last of the cargo on when we board. Okay. Right three bit like later. Good collected, that's all we need. Commander return to base. Alright. So I will take off. And hopefully we don't get shot to bits. Okay, and also we don't want to get scanned by anybody with this illicit cargo or we'll get a big fine. I happened to accidentally um, pick some stuff that fell off the back of a lorry up while I was in space earlier and um, I was trying to sell it in a black market but the black markets at the stations I went to were closed for some reason, don't know why. And uh, as I was leaving one of those stations where I'd been un unable to sell it, I got scanned by the cops and given a fine. Still, 
they didn't take it off me or anything, so I just took it to a station where I could sell it on the black market, and it more than covered the cost of the fine, so it was all, all worth it in the end. Minor hassle and all that. Um, but I could do without picking up a fine for just doing this mission, so hopefully we're all good. Anyway, we're not mass locked anymore. Drive charging. So we may as well get out of here. Ready to engage. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay. Off we go. We're not going to visit any of the geological signals. <laughs> Don't know why I even considered doing that. I just want to get this stuff delivered and fast. So. There we go, and um, we've taken off on the surface. So you see it's showing illicit cargo and Procyon's medium security. The higher the security of the, 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 the system, the more federales there are flying around. White Star Procyon, eh? Right, um... Greenland's Folly, which is another planet-side installation. Will we get there without mishap? That's the question. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna hang around on fuel scoop with this stuff in my hold. Um, do not pass go. Do not investigate any unidentified signal sources and do not collect any fuel from the corona of the star. Unfortunately, Greenland's Folly is in the B part of this system, and as we all know, Procyon B is a white dwarf. We'll just fly careful, and try not to get fried by its crazy, crazy magnetic cones. The problem with white dwarfs is that the danger zone for, for the star is like bigger than it looks, and it's, they're so weird, they even make space look weird. Right, 
you start to see it now, don't you? See those blue lines sticking out? Subtle, but that's what it is. Like the beams from a lighthouse. Follows on this moon here. It's around the other side. That's what the dotted line is telling us. It's around the other side. Orbit round here before I go into orbital cruise. There it is, right. Okay. Orbital flight engaged. Okay, off to the psychedelic shack. Incoming mission critical message. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at that then. There appears to be a malfunction with the bootleg liquor's containment system. Bring them in quickly or we risk losing them. We'll provide a bonus payment if you succeed. I've got 14 minutes to do it now. Should be fine, should be fine. Never had that before with with a mission, but then I've never done one of these before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Right. That was that was a that was a good approach. I don't like to interrupt her. Uh right, what am I doing? What's it? Right, that's what I'm trying to do. Right. Pad six. That's pad zero six there. Scan detected. Oh no, not now. Uh I don't know if that'll work. I just popped a heat sink. It might stop them scanning me, I don't know. I'll just go silent running just in case. Well, I haven't I haven't uh, got a fine or anything, so that might have worked. Landing gear deployed. I've got to be very careful with this landing though because I've got no shields on. And it is a planetary landing, so there is gravity. 0.25 G as well, so... Which isn't high gravity or anything, it's still low gravity, but it's not as low as some places. Oops. <laughs> ah, you see? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh 
popped another heat sink. This is not one of my best landings. There we go. Right, so I took a bit of damage there because it was a messy landing and I had no shields. Could be able to turn the silent running off once I'm landed. But apparently you can't. <laughs> so I repair myself, restock the heat sinks, just turn in the mission, and we'll call it a day. And hopefully I'll remember to turn off the silent running when I next log in. Otherwise, things will get a bit hairy. Right, let's go for all that reputation. Getting there eventually. I'm not. I'm really not sure this reputation, extra reputation, is really extra reputation. You know, I have to trust that it is. But anyway, that'll do for now. Okay, so I've talked to you about white dwarves and how much I hate them. Uh, I just jumped to a, a, a system for um, a particular mission here and it's a white dwarf system. So first thing you'll notice is the weird blue cast to the light. Uh, now if I look to the side here, that is a white dwarf star there. So you see there's these weird things curling off of it at the top and the bottom. And then from the sides don't want to get too close to it. You see those lines coming off of it? Yeah. Don't want to get in any of that. Mm. Hopefully I'm far enough away from it, but you're never really far enough away from a white dwarf. <laughs> uh. Luckily I've got heat sinks on this ship, so it won't fry as easy. But uh, this is Maccabee. But yeah, I thought I'd give you a look of a... You know, when you're not paying attention, you're jumping into a star if you don't pay attention to what kind of star you're jumping to and you're like, thinking about other things. And then suddenly it's like, oh no! It's a white dwarf! Let's put that behind me now, that's uh, good, 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 right. Okay, so yeah, so that's a white dwarf.